Hey, what's up guys? Uh, back with you in another video. I think this is season 2 part 3 of the upgrade uh, season. And um, I think today I'm going to take you with me on what I typically do uh, when, I'm, when I've found some items for free off either Gumtree, Facebook or Trash Nothing. And yeah, so far we've found a desk. Uh, and a PC case so we're gonna go and check them out if they're any good we'll pick them up and bring them back all right so we've managed to bring everything up into the room uh, as you can see I've now run out of space again so there's the case I managed to pick up uh, I think it's a fractal design case I don't know which one but we'll figure that out later there's the keyboard, very strange keyboard is split in the middle and that those buttons are on the left and those on the right. And this is the server thing, which again I don't know too much about. And then the desk pieces are all here. So I now need to make room again. I'm going to take that table down, put this desk up because it has more functionality. It's got drawers and shelves, so that would be good. Um, so before we start looking at that case, I'm going to put the desk up and then on this wall just above the PC, I'm going to put the shelf up as well. So let me do that and I'll join back in a sec. Alright guys, so now we have cleared the desk off, we're going to put up this shelf. It matches quite well actually. Um, I was thinking about whether to put it in the middle or all the way to the right so that things don't fall off the shelf um, I think I'm gonna go in the middle because it's gonna look better all right so let's get this shelf up on the wall and the computer's back so everything back to normal got a nice shelf there now uh, they said to put the shelf about 24 inches above your desk, but I went for 30 inches, so up to you. Um, for me that seems a bit better than 24, maybe 24 would have been okay as well. Uh, so between 22 and 24, but I went for 30. So yeah, set up now over there is looking good in the corner. And the first upgrade we've got, it was my birthday recently, my girlfriend bought me a mouse mat. So let's put that out. All right, the mouse mounts down and looks a lot better. And so as this is the upgrade video, let's check out that case we got. Oh wait, I, uh, I bet you're dying to know, is the shelf straight? Well, let's check it out. Yes, super straight. So. If you need a shelf putting up, call on me. Well, actually, don't call on me. It's pretty hard work. So, yeah, that's great. Now let's check out that case that we got for free off of Facebook. And super appreciated shout out to that man. Uh, yeah, let's go and get it. Hold on. Okay, here's a case, guys, uh, that we got from Facebook for free. Um, shout out to the guy who gave this to me. His gamer tag was Z General. So a big shout out, big thank you, appreciate you so much. Um, he told me it's a fractal design case, so it's an upgrade to the case that we have, um, the HAF 932. So let's take a look at this case. Um, the reason why I'm going to change it is because it does have the front um, USBs, power button, no retip button, uh, mic headphones as you know I was going to try and make something for the other case but now we don't need to so we've got this case now um, it looks pretty neat it doesn't have the, quite the same airflow at the front it has the airflow at the sides I think this comes apart yeah this door opens and inside there oh, you've got some you've got some filters and fans uh, it's a bit dusty so in there we're going to have to clean this up obviously when you get stuff for free 
it's a big clean job. But yeah, this looks like a neat case. Um, not sure how good the airflow is going to be, but I don't have a powerful machine, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, this is what the back looks like. So, pretty much the same. I don't know what these cuts are for, maybe for cables, power supply. Uh, yeah. This is the bottom. Again, a lot of dust. I think this is a filter. Okay, so we can start. It looks like I'm going to just spend some time cleaning this up because that's filthy and it's like that all over so some of these feet rubber parts are missing over here so we can find some rubber for that let's have a look inside a couple of odd screws on this side here Stuff just the same as the other case. There's a lot. Oh, this is the back. Okay. So, a bit of cable management to do. Let's have a look at this side. Alright, so inside. These are the cables that connect the front power, reset, USBs and what have you. Not sure what that one is. Um, we've got a couple of fans in here. Looks like there's a Corsair fan in the back. And we've got a couple of fans in the front. So we've got a lot more fans, but you know, as you know, our motherboard can only take one fan. So I'm going to have to... I do have a box of gizmos that I've met another gentleman who's given me a lot of stuff for free um, and hopefully in there would be some sort of way of connecting more fans uh, but we just got to, that's another video, we're going to search through those boxes eventually there's a lot of stuff there um, so let me clean this up because there's a lot of dust take it apart I'm hoping the motherboard fits, it doesn't it says ATX and it says A ATX and a micro ATX, so I'm pretty sure it will fit. I'm not sure if I want all of these these at the front. I'm sure it stops the airflow. But yeah, let me clean this up. There's a lot of dust, and um, we'll get into it. Alright guys, so everything's looking spickety span, all cleaned up, uh, I've noticed a few problems, one of the cables I think might be broken, um, but we'll give it a go anyway, it can't be any worse than what I've got already, so while the stuff dries off, um, we're going to start moving some parts across, so let's get the other PC, and there she is. So the first thing I'm going to move, I think, is the power supply.
see if this will fit. So just like before, this one is missing a few rubbers, so I'm just going to use some of these rubbers to go on. Alright, pass by, that's going to have to do. It's not as clean. The half case is much bigger. Alright, pass by in. Shield, you put it in. Um, which way was it now? This is the One thing I did get guys, I bought some RAM, but it was only £5, um, but it should be 8 gigabytes. so we can swap those out while we're here, because these were only 2 gigabytes each. Yeah. So, first bit of money I spent on the PC upgrading it was 5 bucks. These are two gigabytes, two R eight PC three, and those are now broken. Um, so these are four gigabytes, two eight uh, PC three. So should work. So upgrading the RAM as well. These bits of the RAM, if they would, if these ones work, are going to go in your case in the giveaway. So the case is smaller. Well, we made our decision now.
What's left to do is to put in. I don't know what the hell that is. No, that All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've completed all of the bits. Swapped all the bits over from the old machine. Um, where do you see that? What do you think about the cable management? Not bad, is it? Not great, but you can't really do much with the stuff I've got. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's all right. Um, there's a lot of cables. I don't know why. But the moment of truth, let's see if it works. So, I'm going to need the power cable. Please work. Truth. Let's see what happens when I press this button. Explosion. Cool. Nope. Yep. The button works. There's some beeps. And I've got a post, so we know it's working. It's because I haven't got Windows installed. So, let's shut this down. And get the Windows uh, folder. Who's that? Oh boy, it's messy here now. So now we can see if the USB ports work. Yeah, boot up guys, so let me clear this up, put it all um, in its place and tidy it up. Alright guys, so there we have it, the new case is up and as you can see, all working, fully functional. So what we did in this video is um, we upgraded the RAM, we upgraded the case to this case, all working nicely and we also put the shelf on. And Remember those items there, because you're going to need to name those uh, when I do the giveaway. So the next video um, is going to be the giveaway build. So if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button and the notification button. Uh, message me on Instagram for the case that you want in, your, in the build. Um, I'm going to show you the cases now actually. Alright, so here's your choices of cases. Um, I don't know what this case is here on the left. But if you want me to build you a PC in that case, uh, just message me on Instagram or, the, or comment below uh, and say yes to number one. Or if you want it built in the eSystems case next to it, again comment or message me on Instagram and comment number two. If you want the smaller Acer case down there, message me on Instagram, comment below, and message comment number three. Or if you want it built in my old half case there, and that's the build you want me to give away, then message number four in the comments below on Instagram. Alright, that wraps it up for this video. Appreciate you uh, watching and staying tuned. Uh, see you on the next one. Ta-da.